found another carrier. I've been reborn. Welcome to the world, baby chap. <gasps> I'm British? All right. Oh, I wonder if I'll have one of those pug-nosed British dogs that licks its own snot all day. Ew, that's gross. Piss off, you little wanker. I'm not going to be a dog to some poof baby. Well, lad, welcome to your home. Well, this is more like it. This is your valet, your gardener, your cook, your gamekeeper, your butler, your housekeeper, your parlour maid, your housemaid, your scullery maid, your shoe de graveler, and one superfluous employee who I am not in a gay relationship with. Sir, we have a meeting in the broom shed. Quite right. I will now hand you over to your mother. This will be our last physical contact until I give you a firm handshake on your 18th birthday. My God, this is everything I've ever wanted. And let's be honest, if I had stayed with the Griffins, I would have ended up like Rick Springfield today. I wish that I had Jesse's job. <laughs> Sir, it's 6 p.m. and you're still in your 5.45 tuxedo. Nigel, yesterday I saw you smile. Is that something I need to bring up with my father? I was just imagining my own death, sir. You're a good man, Nigel. May I pull on your nose hair? Of course, sir. <laughs> <laughs> My heavens, my father is the commander of the most excellent order of the British Empire, Dean of Physics at Oxford, and he was pre-approved for a Capital One no-hassle card. Oh, okay, so he's just framing everything. Stuart, these are your brothers, Jaden and Aidan. Jaden was first form in his sixth levels, and he's chief scrum flanker on his varsity boogling team, which, as far as we know, makes us terribly proud. Oh, finally, siblings who are doing stuff. I'm really happy to meet you guys. You were an accident. You're only here because father is a heavy sleeper with a frequent morning stem. Okay, Aiden's the ball breaker, huh, Jaden? Father, is it going to live here for a while? Oh, Aiden is the nice one. Well, if it's verbal jousting skills you're looking for, I'm not afraid to take a little walk on the Oscar Wilde side. You are a poopy head, and you shut up. Stuart, I think your mouth is better at taking things in than spewing them out. <laughs> well, these guys are a little sharper than my old family. I still remember our duck duck goose disaster. Jack, 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 Jack. Yuck. What is that other word? There we are. Sorry I couldn't squeeze no more juice out of me nippers. Oh, that's all right. I can't be mad at someone who lost seven sons in the war. All right, my little lord. It's time for bed. Why isn't Mommy tucking me in? Oh, hush, love. You're born now. That's the end of all this mummy nonsense. What the hell? I don't even get a stuffed animal to hug. The only thing in this crib is a 19th century dueling pistol. <laughs> ah! It's loaded? Who dares to shoot the bow tie off my cat? We duel at dawn. I'm just a baby. So am I. Good Lord, what have I done? I don't like it here at all. I miss my family, my dumb family. <gasps> Dear God, I wanted to be free of the family of morons I was born into, but now I'm the moron. Sir, I heard whimpering. Shall I fetch your crying tuxedo? No, I don't want any more tuxedos! And I don't want a cold mother or an Oxford physics professor father! <gasps> Wait a minute. That's it! The Oxford physics lab will have everything I need to build a time machine! Then I can go back to my old life! Ah, ah, stone floor, too cold. I'll go in the morning. <laughs> 